But we can now compute a sub e that is u times the gross area, which is 100 times 10. So the effective area is 712.5 millimeter squared. Okay, so with that, we can now compute the nominal strength. So that is 400 times 712.5. So the nominal strength is 285,000 Newton. So in kilonewton, this is 285. So with that, we can now compute the allowable value of the force. We compare the demand versus the capacity. So ang demand natin, based on figure is P. And then the capacity, so based on the problem, we are solving for the allowable value. So we will use ASD. 285, we divide this by the factor of safety for tensile rupture. Factor of safety for tensile rupture is 2. So therefore, the value of P is 142.5 kN. Okay, and that is letter C. Which of the following is the allowable value of P? that can be applied based on block shear strength. Ang block shear strength niya is nasa gasset. So pag hinila natin yung plate, possible magkaroon ng failure sa gasset plate. And then syempre, ganito yung magiging shape ng block shear. Okay? So ito yung ating shear area. And then yung ating tension area, ito naman. Okay, so compute natin yung mga areas. First is A sub GV. So the dimension is 100 for shear. So tatemps lang natin yan ng 10. No? Kasi yung thickness ng plate is 10. The plate thickness is 10 millimeters. Tatemps lang natin to ng 2 kasi dalawa yung shear area. So this is 2000 millimeters squared. And then, syempre yan na rin yung value ng A and B. Kasi wala namang mga holes kapag naka-weld. And then, A sub NT, that is 100 times 10. Okay, so you now have the area. So we can now compute for the nominal strength for block shear. So kapag block shear, no, ang mag-govern dun sa part ng shear is yung 0.6 FY AGV kapag weld. No? And so pwede mo nang diretsuhin yan. 0 0.6 times 248 times AGV plus U sub BS is 1.0, F sub U is 400, E sub NT is 1000. So therefore, R sub N equals 697, 600 Newton. In kilonewton, this is 697.6. Allowable value, again, compare mo lang yung demand sa capacity. So the demand based on the figure is P and then the capacity is. For block shear, we just need to divide yung 697.6 by the factor of safety, which is 2. Therefore, the allowable value of P is 348.8 kN, and that is letter B. Next, which of the following most nearly gives the allowable value of P that can be applied? Ayan. So, ito na yung itatabulate natin, but of course, we need to solve pa yung sa weld. Di pa natin na-compute yung allowable value of P based on the weld strength. Compute muna natin yung strength based on the welds. So yung weld strength natin na nominal, that is 1,301.04261 Newton per millimeter. But of course, hindi pa tapos dyan kasi di ba pag weld strength, we also have to check yung base metal. No? So, compute lang muna natin yung allowable. Kasi ang tinatanong naman is allowable. So, divide natin yan ng 2 kasi ang factor of safety for welds is 2. So, this is 650.521305 Newton per millimeter. Ayan. And then, compute natin yung sa base metal strength. 
So for base metal strength, dalawa yung panggagalingan, no? Yung shear yielding, which is 0.6 FY AGV. So compute natin to 0 0.6 248 AGV. So base ito sa thickness no member. So since parehas naman ang thickness ng member, so isang beses lang tayo mag-solve. So 10 and then consider a one unit length. So ang RN for shear yielding is... Yeah, 1488 newton per millimeter. And then, divide this by the factor of safety for shear yielding, which is 1.5. This is 992 newton per millimeter. For the shear rupture, R sub N is 0.6 F sub U A and V. So this becomes 0.6 times 400 times 10 times 1. So, ang RN natin based on shear rupture is yeah, so that is 2,400. Okay? Then, divide natin yan by the factor of safety ng shear rupture. So, therefore, that is 1,200 newton per millimeter. Then, in order to decide for the strength of the welds, so, compare natin yung allowable ng weld strength. Ko compare mo sa shear yielding saka sa shear rupture. So the lowest of the three will be the governing weld strength. So ang lowest is yung 650 therefore we will use this in determining the allowable strength based on the strength of the welds. So compute na natin yung capacity based on weld strength. So first, kailangan muna natin makompute yung LE, di ba? L sub E is beta times L. So to compute for beta, we have to determine the ratio of L over W. Ang L natin is, ang length ng weld is 100, and then ang weld size is 6.35. So ano ang ratio ng L sa W? So that is 15.75. So this is less than 100. Kapag less than 100, the value of beta is 1.0. So therefore, the effective length of the weld is simply 1.0 times 100. That is 100. So we can now compute for the capacity based on weld strength. So that is R sub N over factor of safety. Compute na natin yung strength ng weld per unit of length. That is yung 650.521305. Be careful lang na divide nyo na yan ng factor of safety. Baka i-divide nyo ulit, madudoble. So mali na yun. So take note ha, na divide na yan ng factor of safety. So, ito times mo na lang to ng length ng weld. Kasi, ito na yung strength per 1 millimeter length of weld. Gano kalakas kapag may length siya na 100? Ito times mo na lang yan. Then, do not forget to multiply by 2 kasi dalawa yung welds na 100 millimeter yung length. So, therefore, the capacity based on the weld strength is... So, 130104. 261 newton no so in kilo newton this is 130 130.104 okay then compare lang compare lang natin ulit yung demand sa capacity so the demand is p compare natin sa capacity which is 130.104261 kilo newton okay. so ito yung capacity or yung allowable value of p based on weld strength no so we have to tabulate, although I believe obvious naman na kung ano yung sagot, pero para lang walang makalimutan, lagi nyong itabulate. Tensile yielding, tensile rupture, block shear, and weld trend, or weld failure. So ang nakompute natin allowable value of P for weld strength is 130 kilonewton. For block shear, ang nakuha natin is so, 348.8. For tensile rupture, ang nakuha natin ay 142.5. And then for tensile yielding, 148.5. Yung pipiliin nating allowable value of P that can be applied 
as you can see base kung babasahin niyo yung problem allowable value of p that can be applied it is not indicated in the problem based on what limit state so hindi na sinabi ko ano yung limit state so ibig sabihin you, you have to compare all the limit states so ang governing na uh, limit states natin is yung lowest which is 130 coming from the well strength and that is letter A 